Let's move on now to the integer lists and this is just a little bit of fun really but it's an opportunity for children to see enormous integers which are actually increasingly important of course in real life. Uh, powers of 2 uh, just literally goes through the usual sequence but it very quickly gets out of hand and there's one or two things that are worth stopping on for example 2 to the power of 10, 1024 that's, that's the kilobyte that we now know it which of course is not a thousand, it's a thousand and twenty four uh, then you've got the chessboard problem uh, grain of sand being doubled and doubled and doubled and who can say this huge great number now and on it goes to just giant numbers so uh, that of course is why uh, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire works so well because the doubling process is so powerful uh, let's go back to uh, where we were um, <coughs> the prime numbers so it's a bit surprising that uh, there are so many prime numbers. I mean, here we are, we've only got up to three or four hundred, and we're only in, th only in thousands of prime numbers. So that's an interesting fact. Then, having a look at the Mersenne primes, um, these are numbers which is two to the power of a prime number, take away one is another prime number, but it sometimes works and it sometimes doesn't. So uh, that's obviously... This is the opening page curious. of the TSM. Um, I'm always curious to know how Euler managed to prove in 1772 that this one was prime. Um, it's a pretty amazing feat and there were lots of other attempts which um, didn't get anywhere. These ones were not found until they had calculators to actually do the mechanical work and then we had these being produced. They're still pretty large numbers and uh, there we go. So uh, and later on when the electronic calculators came along the numbers started to get absolutely enormous and that now they are indeed giant and the last one to be found is 2 to the power of this q rate number here which is over 12 million digits um, and well why and, and the, some of these answers these l links are worth looking at and there's a link at the beginning which I think you'll quite enjoy this Java applet here and this enables you to put just about any number in and see if you can uh, guess its prime factorization before the computer does And here it is, so we can put any number we like. And if we want it to be prime, it needs to end in 1, 3, 5, or 7. Let's try that. And there we are, that's the prime factorization. It's three times that, it's not three point. Uh, um, and let's do 100 times that. Uh, let's see what happens. That's a run of 100. And did we find any primes in that run? Yes, there's one, there's another one. Staggering power of, of calculation going on here, and uh, I have absolutely no idea how it's done or where it's done. Even that would be interesting. So that's the Mersenne primes, and uh, otherwise you've also got Pythagorean triples, Pascal's triangle, and some factorials too.